Hi, I'm Melissa from Sogo Survey, and we just spent a few minutes today speaking with you about superior customer service. If you think you've got it, great. If your customers think you've got it, it's even better. We're talking a lot about customer experience these days, and it's no surprise. As a customer, you know that you have more and more options than ever. So as an organization, as a business, you know that you need to be offering your customers competitive service, competitive quality products to be able to keep up with that superior customer service demand, as well as keep ahead of your competitors. Take a look at where you are today. How good of a job do you think your organization is doing in terms of offering customer service? In one study, 80% of companies surveyed said they offer superior customer service. However, only 8% of their customers agreed. So if you were to do the same study within your organization, how many people there would say that you offer superior customer service? And how many of your customers would say the same thing? It's a big question. If you find that your customers are happier than your team, a little bit of a disconnect as well there too, but quite often it's vice versa. Believing the hype, drinking the Kool-Aid, whatever it is that you wanna say, you need to make sure that your opinions are in line with um, the standards that your customers have. And that comes down to what is superior anyway? Really great, of course, but really great according to who? If it's according to you, it might be your impressions or your ideas of what customers want, what you think your organization should be delivering, but really it comes down to what your customers want, what they're valuing in their experience, what they're expecting. Maybe they're expecting a high quality product. Maybe they're expecting speed. Maybe they're expecting superior, professional, personalized service. Um, so there are a lot of aspects of every organization and you need to figure out which ones to prioritize to make sure that your idea of superior is in line with what your customers are actually looking for. So we, nobody, wants to, <laughs> nobody wants to fail their customers, of course, um, but it happens on occasion, and we need to make sure that we can identify those issues as quickly as possible. It could be a specific interaction, for example, a certain point in your customer journey. Maybe your sign-up process is a little clunky, or maybe billing is a little bit challenging. So maybe there are specific points that you could improve um, that would help significantly in streamlining um, the, the customer experience, keeping their effort down and keeping their satisfaction high. Maybe it's with certain individuals. Maybe you have um, some challenges with some of your staff and it turns out that there's a training issue. Maybe there's something that they don't know that they should be providing, or maybe it's just improving customer service as a culture as well. And the last one, their inconsistent experience. That can be a challenge too. If you have some staff members who are doing a really great job and some staff members who just aren't doing quite the same, um, it might not mean that they you know, are certainly not set out to provide bad service, but they might not have the same understanding as your other staff members are. What is it that we should be doing with this customer? What is it that I should be offering him or her when they came in to our shop, for example? Um, so making sure that the experience is consistent with all members of your staff, with all people who are coming into your organization as customers, um, so that they know that you are all on the same page. So it comes down to, of course, data. It's no surprise at Sogo Survey we talk a lot about data, and we believe truly in it that data does make a difference. We want to make decisions based on what our customers need rather than just guessing, rather than just our expectations or ideas of what's good for them. You know, they're the customers and ultimately they'll decide if it is good for them or not. Rather, <laughs> whether or whatever we think, um, it's up to them to make sure um, that they're getting the service that they want and we hope it's with us. So what we're suggesting to you is that it doesn't work just to ask once. Of course, there's a consistent program in mind that will be of greatest benefit. So you can find out what those common complaints are and address them. Hopefully you'd like to not have common complaints, but upon asking, it can turn out that you might see some trends. Taking a look at those breakdowns in the customer journey, nobody wants to be broken down along the side of the road here. And if your customers are having those issues that stop them from moving forward, they're not going to be with you very long. And finally, recognizing any negative patterns um, that are uh, popping up. For example, again, it could be a staffing issue, it could be a product issue, it could be some feature that's not performing correctly, something like that. And so asking for feedback from your customers along regular touch points at various points in their customer journey rather than just once can really make a big difference. So what we're looking for is superior, of course, but making sure that these are goal-oriented um, efforts that we're looking for. So what is it that we're measuring? Are we looking for loyalty? Are we looking to keep the effort low? Are we looking to keep satisfaction high? Um, so finding out some of these benchmark measures and being able to measure them consistently 
helps us make good decisions about where our resources should be spent. We only have so much time. We only have you know, such a large budget. We want to make sure that all of our resources are spent well in line with the goals that our customers have for us as well. So suggestion for you, if you're looking for a platform to help you measure um, your customer experience and improve it to make sure that it's meeting the needs of you know, your organization as well as your customers, we'd love to offer you a quick demo of Sogo Survey CX. You can visit us at cx.sogosurvey.com if you're interested in this fresh, new, and exciting platform um, to help measure something that is really, really important, which is customer experience. That's all for today. We'll see you again soon. In the meantime, you can hang out with us on social media or find us at LinkedIn at Sogo Survey, or you can visit our website, sogosurvey.com. See you next time.